Hi everyone, we're back with another session of Ask the Rabbi. Rabbi Zeph, in the world today, tattoos are very popular. I, I, almost everyone has tattoos, okay? <laughs> so I just wanted to know, what's the deal with tattoos in Judaism? Ah, yes, so this is a widely discussed and widely misunderstood topic that people <laughs> talk about tattoos and Jews. It's one of, we always say the, um, the most, uh, the Jewish law that everyone knows that is completely wrong is that if Jews have a tattoo, they can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery. And that is not true. That is not true. So uh, the, the thing about tattoos is in the Torah, it talks about people who might worship a pagan deity mm -hmm. by inscribing things in their flesh. Uh, like the name of that god, mm -hmm. they might put that, or like a statue, a picture, an image of an idol that they might tattoo, and it says, don't do that. Okay. People took from that that you shouldn't ever have a tattoo at all, uh, but doesn't seem to be a lot of support for that in Jewish law, and certainly not that people should be excluded from being buried because of that in a Jewish cemetery. Um, I, there was a, a wonderful opinion on this from the conservative movement that said, there might be many reasons to advise people not to get tattoos, mm -hmm. but Jewish law is not one of them. <laughs> so I think that, you know, in Judaism, people do think of the body as a gift from mm -hmm. God, and certainly people try to beautify the body in all sorts of ways, right. and the people have different ideas of what's beauty, mm -hmm. right? For some people, putting holes in your ears and putting earrings in is a way of beautifying the body. For other people, they think, oh, no, that's a desecration of the body. Right. So opinions vary about that. But I think in terms of tattoos, I think it's just the idea of permanence, right? Mm -hmm. That's Definitely. that's a big deal for everyone. Um, but also that people should be careful about, for example, sometimes people get tattoos. I've seen tattoos where people have one of the names of God in Hebrew mm -hmm. tattooed on their body. That's not something I would advise Jews to do, okay. right? That, that, right? that probably is not an appropriate thing. It's too close to what the Torah says not to do. Okay. But other ways in which Jews use tattoos to, you know, uh, to beautify or decorate their bodies, again, there might be a lot of good reasons to people tell people to have caution about that, but it's not because Judaism says that's bad. It's just another way of human beings taking control of their bodies. Um, and even, the, I think the one thing that people did say was after the Holocaust, when Jews had, you know, during the Holocaust, mm -hmm. Jews had numbers tattooed on their arms right. and said, well, that, that's having a number, that's having a tattoo against your will. Mm -hmm. And there have even been Jews, especially people who are grandchildren of survivors of the Holocaust, who have actually taken those numbers that their grandparents had on their arms and had them tattooed on their arms mm -hmm. as a tribute to their grandparents. So it's like reclaiming something that was done against people's will and doing that as a tribute. So, you know, there is a certain beauty to that. And right. there, is, there is, I think there are ways in which they can be, it can be used. I personally don't have tattoos, but, uh, <laughs> that, but again, it's, it's not something that Judaism strictly prohibits. Okay. It's just something, of course, that needs to be thought of carefully. Great. Thank you so much, <laughs> Rabbi Zeph, and we'll be back with another episode of Ask the Rabbi soon.